Hey guys, it's Melina here, and today I have another first impressions video for you. Today's video is on the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. So before we get started, we should give this video a big thumbs up if you love first impressions videos and you want me to do more of them, because I'd be happy to do that. And let's just go ahead and get started. So, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette is the newest edition of their 18 eyeshadow palettes. And boy, was this thing difficult to get. We have been teased on the internet a lot about this palette. There have been sneak peek pictures everywhere that have been coming out about this palette. So needless to say, people were very, very excited. My experience with trying to get this palette <laughs> was that I was in Vegas, so West Coast time, so you think it would be a lot easier for me. But I'm not sure what happened, but I kind of forgot that I was being released. And when I finally realized, I think it was like right around midnight or whatever. So I went on the website and it had already crashed. So I checked their Instagram and apparently the site was having issues because of the overload. And instead of setting alarms and checking throughout the night, which is what I would normally do, I accidentally fell asleep. And I woke up and it was sold out. Then I was told that it was gonna restock that Monday, which was when I would be back in Miami. I was flying back that Monday. And so I was like, well, great. I'm probably gonna be in the air when it happens. I won't get to get it, whatever. So I just randomly check around like five o'clock and it's there. I put it in my cart. I'm gonna use PayPal so I don't have to like figure out what my login is or whatever. If you've ever used PayPal to pay on a website, there's so many different steps and like changing your payment option and all that. And my internet at home is so slow, it's just ridiculous. So I always like, you know, flip through tabs. And then I forgot. And then on my Instagram, I saw, oh, it was sold out. And I frantically went to the tab and I did not finish the process. So I missed it again. Eventually, I got my hands on it through HSN, but it took them forever to ship it. And yeah, since then it was released through Ulta, sold out, released through Sephora, sold out. It's basically sold out everywhere at this point, but I'm still going to do this video because I have hopes that it'll be stuck for you guys. So it's an 18 eyeshadow palette. It's $49 just like all the other ones. The only difference with this one is we're not talking a chocolate scent, we're talking a peach scent, which is amazing. So it is called the Sweet Peach Palette. I'll leave links down to where you can purchase it, even though right now it's sold out everywhere. Just start praying. The box looks like this. The palette looks like this. It smells like peaches, so good. If you've ever had like Gerber peaches baby food, that's exactly what it smells like. Mm. Oh, so good. So here are all the colors. There's a good range of peachy pinks, corals, bronzes, purples, browns. There is a mirror inside of here. I'm super excited to be filming this video so that I can take this on my trip in a couple days and play around with it and have lots and lots of fun with it. Very, very excited. So there are a few differences to note. Instead of it being a 16 eyeshadow palette, it's an 18 eyeshadow palette. And as just by looking at it, you can tell that the two larger pans are not included. So normally they forsake two shades and give you a larger pan of two of the shades. But this time they just did 18 of the same size pans. So that's kind of cool. I guess for the most part, I'm not sure if anyone's actually reached pan on one of those really large pans. So maybe that's why they did it. But I'm very, very excited because it's 18 shades for the price of $49, which is really great. So from looking at it without having swatched them, there's about seven matte shades and the rest are some sort of shimmery shade, whether it's a more pearlized shade or a glittery like metallic shade. Mmm, -hmm. so good. So I know you guys are just dying to see the colors, so let's get to swatching. All right, so I'm all swatched up, so let me get closer and show you all these colors. So here are all the colors together. They were all swatched with one swipe of color and there's no primer on my arm. I went ahead and swatched them in the three rows of six. So 
So here we have the first row. This first color here is called White Peach. It's a matte vanilla cream. The second color here is Luscious. It's a pearl peach champagne. The third color is Just Peachy. It's a shimmery peachy pink. The fourth color is called Bless Her Heart. It's a golden moss. The fifth color is Tempting. It's a bronzed black. And the sixth color is Charmed I'm Sure, which is a matte medium cool brown. So once again, this is the first row. Here we have the second row. This first color here is called Nectar. It's a pearly peachy cream. The second color is Cobbler. It's a peachy pink bronze. The third color is Candied Peach. It's a matte coral with violet shimmer. The fourth color is Bellini. It's a gilded peach. The fifth color is Peach Pit. It's a satin perfect raisin. And the sixth color is Delectable. It's a matte smoky amethyst. Once again, this is the second row. Here we have the third and final row. This first color here is called Peaches and Cream. It's a matte milky peach. The second color is called Georgia. It's matte peachy pink. The third color is Caramelized. It's a dark gilded bronze. The fourth color is Puree. It's a metallic dark bronze. The fifth color is Summer Yum. It's a matte gingerbread. And the sixth and final color is Talk Derby to Me. And it's a shimmery black violet. Once again, this is the third row. So here we have all the colors again together. We've got some really, really amazing shades. I knew I was going to love Bless Her Heart. I saw that coming from a while away. I mean, I feel like Too Faced does those metallic, bronzy, like brown colors so amazingly. But one that was a surprise to me was Bellini. It's this really pretty, iridescent color. It just looks so pretty in the light. It's amazing. And right over here, Caramelized is also just insane. Alright, so my final thoughts on this palette. Big surprised, obsessed with it. Honestly, it's even better than I imagined it would be. I freaking love this palette. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to play with this palette. Honestly, I just really love the shades that are in this palette. I'm very, very excited to play around with them. I feel like there's such a good variety. And there's a lot of shades in here that I don't own shades like this, like the Bellini shade, excitement all the way. So when I was swatching, I did notice that certain shades were a little more tugging. And the way that I describe that is when I'm trying to get color on my little spongies, I kind of have to push, you know, it's like, it's almost like rubbing like, I don't know, sandpaper or something like just, it's a little rougher to get the color on. And uh, there was a little bit of fallout with certain shades, especially the more glittery ones, which is to be expected. But overall, I really, really like how they swatched really, really amazing shades. And also the smell is absolutely fantastic. I freaking love it. So once again, this palette is $49. It's available on the Too Faced website, Ulta's website, Sephora, but they're all sold out as of right now. Hopefully they will stock before this video goes up. If not, just keep checking and stocking. Just seriously stock the website like crazy. But if you don't want to do that, remember how I said that HSN took forever to ship? Well, this is one that I stocked the Ulta website and I was able to get it because I wanted it sooner. So the HSN one, and it's actually on its way now, is for one of you guys. So. I'm gonna take that extra one and do a giveaway for this palette, especially now that it's not in stock. So all the details for the giveaway will be in the description box. So make sure you read them very, very carefully. Follow them to a T because I hate disqualifying entries because they didn't follow the directions. It makes me so sad. In addition, when the giveaway ends and when the winner will be announced will also be in the description box. So be sure to check that. I honestly, cannot believe that even though I put all that information, I still get people tweeting me who won a particular giveaway when the giveaway is still going. Or they'll be like, when are you choosing a winner? And I'm like, did you check the description box? It's all there. Just do me a favor and just read the description box. It's all in there, I promise. If there are any mistakes or you find anything funky, then definitely reach out to me because mistakes happen.
I'm super excited to give one of these palettes away. I'm happy that I was actually able to get my hands on two of them from two different sources. And I'm also happy that I was able to get one from Ulta specifically because if not, I still would have been waiting and not been able to do a first impressions video until September. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other videos. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya.